Today, I'm taking the Thames Clipper from the Tower of London all the way to Westminster and seeing all the sights London has to offer along the way by sea. So without further ado, let's go. My trip today starts on a very picturesque London sunset at the Tower Millennium Pier. While being nothing special, the pier is still pretty adequate for your travel needs, with signs guiding you to whichever slip your ferry is arriving or departing at. Soon, the ferry pulls into the slip. What I find cool about these ferries, at least the ones operated by Thames Clipper, is that each has its own unique name. Ours is known as the Typhoon Clipper. Now that we're on board, I think it's time for a seat tour. The seats, at least the airline style seats, have decent enough legroom and a safety card just in case of an emergency. This is stored in a seat back pocket. There's also a fold down table that was pretty flimsy to say the least. Lastly, I found the seats to be decently comfortable and not really lacking of any sort of padding. All in all, a pretty decent seat. Before we depart, let's take a quick look at the amenities on board the ferry. On board, there is a small area where you can buy merchandise, a bar area with some drinks and snacks, And last but not least, the outdoor seating, or the semi-outdoor seating. These seats are your typical bare-bones seats, with nothing really special about them. They actually quite remind me of the seats found on the water taxis in Baltimore. If you're curious what I thought about the Baltimore water taxi, you can check out the video linked in the description, or popping up right now in the right-hand corner. Last but not least, let's take a quick look at the bathrooms on board the ferry. There's everything you need, a trash bin, a sink, soap, dryer, and if, and of course, a toilet. I'm also happy to report everything was pretty clean and all in working order.
So as this journey comes to a close, what did I think about the Thames Clipper overall and would I recommend you take them compared to other forms of transport in London? Absolutely. I would at least recommend you take the Thames Clipper once if you're staying in London as it does provide a totally different view of the city itself compared to the tube which is mostly underground in London city centre or the bus which doesn't really necessarily follow the riverfront. However, if we're talking about travel time, I would probably suggest you take the tube, not only because of that, but also because it's just much more convenient and there's a whole lot more lines, not just along the Thames Riverfront, but can get you to other places more quickly than the Thames Clipper would. However, with all things said, I do think the Thames Clipper is a good experience as the scenery, especially during sunset, and I'd also imagine Sunrise, is absolutely beautiful. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe. This is The4905 here, and I will see you next time. Thank you.